expressions. When I say expressions, these expressions must have come to your mind. But what are expressions in mathematics? In arithmetic, we can form expressions using these numbers and the four operations. For example, 9 plus 8 minus 7 is an expression. 2 into 9 plus 1. It is another expression. And in algebra, we can form expressions using these numbers, alphabets and operations. For example, 8 minus P. This is an expression. 6 into J. This is another expression. X divided by 2. This is another algebraic expression. 50 plus R. This is another algebraic expression. Wait a minute. How can I add an alphabet to a number? Well, over here, R is not an alphabet. R is a symbol which represents a number. So, we are adding 50 to an unknown number which is represented by the symbol R. Once we get to know the value of R, say we come to know that the value of R is 40. Then we can write it as 50 plus 40. So actually we are adding two numbers. So this is 90. So we see some more algebraic expressions here. All these expressions contain a single operation. This is 7 plus n. So it contains the addition operation. x minus 3. It has the subtraction operation. 2 into m. Multiplication. p by 10. It is the division operation. So all these expressions contain just one operation. Now the expressions listed over here, they contain more than one operation. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So these expressions have more than one operation. We have 2 into d plus 5 into b or 2d plus 5b. Now there is another way to look at algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions can be viewed as addition of terms. So what is being added here? We are adding 2d to 5b. So 2d and 5b are being added. Or we say that 2d and 5b are the terms Two D and five B are the terms which are being added to form this algebraic expression. So let us find out what are the terms of this algebraic expression. But before we do that, we have seen that the terms are being added to form algebraic expression and the terms are not subtracted. We have a minus sign here. So whenever we have a minus sign, we consider that a negative term is being added. So we can rewrite this algebraic expression as 3x plus 
negative 5y plus 16z. So instead of this minus here, we consider that negative 5y is being added. Now let us see what are the terms of this algebraic expression. Well, 3. Is 3 a term of this algebraic expression? 3 is being multiplied with x. So 3 is not being added. 3 is not a term. x. x is being multiplied with 3. So x is not added. So x is not a term. 3x. 3x is being added. So 3x is a term. 5. Is 5 being added? No. 5 is being multiplied to y. So 5 is also not a term. Similarly y is being multiplied with negative 5. So it is not a term. 5y. Is 5y a term? No. 5y is again being multiplied with minus 1. So 5y is being multiplied with minus 1. It is not being added. So 5y is not a term. Negative 5y? Yes. Negative 5y is being added. So negative 5y is a term. Similarly, 16 is not a term. Z is not a term. 16z, it is being added. So it is a term. Now what about 3x minus 5y? 3x minus 5y is being added to 16z. But is it a term? No. Actually, it is a combination of two terms. So it is not a single term. Term is the simplest form which is being added to form an algebraic expression. So the three terms of this algebraic expression are 3x, negative 5y and 16z. Let us consider one more expression. 5p plus k by 7 minus 1. So what are the terms of this expression? Let us rewrite this expression. 5p plus k by 7 plus negative 1. So we have terms 5p, we have a term k by 7. And we have a term, negative 1. We have three terms here. So these are the three terms. 5p, k by 7 and negative 1. So the trick is to divide the entire expression with plus sign. Wherever we can put a plus sign, we put a plus sign. And the parts separated by that plus sign are called the terms of the algebraic expression. Now some terms are given and we need to form an algebraic expression using these terms. How can we do that? So we need to add these things to get to our algebraic expression. So we write x by 20. Now we need to add it to minus 36y. So negative 36y. Again we need to add it to z. So we get x by 20. We then simplify it plus and a negative sign, we get minus 36y 
plus Z. So this is the required expression which gives these terms. Now look at all of these algebraic expressions. How many terms do they have? We, ha we just have one term because we are not adding anything. Here also we have one term, one term, one term, one term. This is a constant but it is also considered to be an expression with one term. So all these algebraic expressions have just one term because they are not being added to anything. Such algebraic expressions with one term are called monomials. Here mono stands for one. So the algebraic expressions with one term are called monomials. Now what is common between these algebraic expressions? Well, all these algebraic expressions have how many terms? Two terms. This has two terms. One, two. This has two terms. Y, 4Z. This has two terms. This has two terms. Even this has two terms. So all these algebraic expressions have two terms. And such expressions are called binomials. Here by means two. So the algebraic expressions with two terms are called binomials. Note that when we classify expressions into monomials or binomials, it has nothing to do with the number of variables. We can have as many variables as possible. As in this case, we just have one variable. In this case, we have two variables. Here, we have two variables. Here, we have three variables. Here again, we have two variables. So it has nothing to do with the number of variables. We only need to consider the number of terms and on the basis of that, we classify the expressions as monomials or binomials. Again, what is common between these expressions? We again look at how many terms each of these has. This has three terms. This also has three terms. One, two, three. This also has three terms. And again, this has three terms. So such expressions with three terms are called trinomials, where tri stands for three. So the expressions having one term are called monomial, expressions having two terms are called binomials, and the expressions having three terms are called trinomials. And in general, any algebraic expression with one or more term is called a multinomial. So all of these are multinomials. So all binomials, all trinomials, they are all multinomials. Now which of these is a monomial, which of these is a binomial and which is a trinomial? Let us see. X divided by 9. So we can write it as x by 9. There is no addition taking place here. There is a single term. So it is a monomial. Now what about this? 5 plus p plus q. How many terms are there? 5 is being added to P, which is being added to Q. So we have three terms, 1, 2 and 3. And hence, this is a trinomial. What about this? 3A minus 5B plus 0 into C. So we can simply write it as 3A minus 5b 
because zero into C is zero. So how many terms are there? Three A and negative five B. So there are two terms here. Hence, this is a binomial. So there is a question for you. Classify the following expression. So have a look at this expression. 2 into A into B. We can write it as 2 AB. There is no addition taking place over here. So this is a single term. So expressions with just one term are called monomials. So this is a monomial. So algebraic expressions are made by adding up terms and they can be classified as monomials if they just have one term, as binomial if they have two terms and as trinomials if they have three terms.